2023 is coming to an end, and what a year it was. The year started out with another missed playoffs for the Broncos, but we knew someone else was coming. We finally got a new Starbucks in our parking lot, the British Empire got a new king, and the NBA got a new champ. So I thought it would be fun to take a trip down memory lane and look back at a highlight reel from 2023 at Eastern Hills. Here we go. In February and August, we celebrated baptisms, and baptism weekends are some of our most favorite times around Eastern Hills, being able to celebrate people's public declaration of their faith. Man, what could be better? This year, we saw 80 people take their next step. One of the reasons baptism weekend is so great is because the joy we all feel seeing the process of lives being changed one person at a time. We baptize person after person, kids, students, and adults, and each one with a story all their own one after the other, such an incredible thing to watch from the front of the room to the lobby and everywhere in between. And why do we do this? Because life change matters, people's stories matter, and we can't get enough of people experiencing that following Jesus makes life better. With the Nuggets Championship Parade in the distance, a lavender haze made its way to Denver within Powerfield's biggest event of the year. Sorry Broncos. Taylor Swift is the real deal and she made a Swifty out of me. Hey, mid-year our kids and preteen spaces got a refresh with bright colors and cool new spaces. We up our game as we partner with families in our church and community. We were ready for our new school year as our preschool started back up with the normal wait list and excitement. The first and third Thursdays of the month were once again marketplace days. With inflation running rampant, lines got longer and longer as we continued to break records serving over 900,000 pounds of food to people in our community. But our crew of volunteers was able to keep up to continue to serve people who need a hand up in our community. In early September, we announced that our team had hired a new lead pastor, Tom Bassan from South Africa. Let's head live to our South African Bureau for an update. Hey! Hello, E-Hill! We're going to America now! Now! <laughs> we are now. coming to you live from South Africa. Now. We just had a Christmas carol service. As you can see, we have some wild animals running around here, uh, reporting to you from the South African contingent. There we go. Help us. Send help. Send help. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Merry Christmas! Bye! <laughs> Tom's first weekend with us will be January 14th. Mark it down, you will not want to miss it. And family team, consider that video fair warning. We continue to see increased demand serving over 600 free grilled cheese sandwiches at lunch on Wednesdays during the school year as Cherokee Trail students made their way onto our campus. We asked you to solve the funding gap early in the year and your response was incredible. Grilled cheese even made it into the CT yearbook. I think the biggest compliment you all got this year was from our different guest speakers throughout our lead pastor transition. They marveled at the engagement they saw and felt each time they joined us. You all showed up and you served and you gave financially. We not only survived this last year, but we thrived and that is all because of you. If you're thinking of giving a Christmas gift to Eastern Hills, there are a couple of ways to do that. The easiest way is to go to ehills.org weekend and click on the give button. If you brought a check or cash, you can drop those into the giving drop boxes on the walls at the back of the auditorium and in the lobby on your way out. We want to invite you to be a part. By giving financially, you will help springboard all of us into the new year with momentum and excitement and a deep sense of mission to invite everyone to experience that following Jesus makes life better. In 2023, you invited people onto our campus to experience Jesus in maybe a new and special way, to create spaces and places for kids, a safe spot for preteens and an awkward in-between, a place for students to feel known, needed, and loved, environments for adults to understand the value of circles over rows and being for our community both close to home and on the other side of the world your impact was remarkable eastern hills job well done